What's up YouTube friends? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I painted and refinished an old desk that someone in my neighborhood was looking to throw out, picked it up, and I turned it into this lovely LOL desk for Taylor. So the great thing about this video is if you've never painted, sanded, or refinished any old piece of furniture, this is definitely gonna be an easy follow along video because you can do this with any piece of furniture. So if you're ready to see how I did this, keep watching. Guys, so to get started, I did head over to Home Depot and picked up a hand sander. Now, just a heads up, I was not sure which sander to pick up. So the one that I did just show you guys a clip of, what it did was it helped to take off all of the permanent marker, the writing, there was a recipe, a little girl's name on it, and it helped to dull the paint a lot. I ended up going back to Home Depot and I picked up a more rough sander that I was able to really scrub off majority of the actual frozen design. And you will see that in the upcoming clips. So to be honest, this is completely all trial and error, but I feel like for a free project, it's definitely um, worth it, or at least a free piece of furniture, putting minimum um, dollars into fixing it up. And nothing's really wrong with it at all. You can, I'm gonna tighten some of the screws. I have um, taken off the marker that was on here. So I did use this 180 hand sander, um, like I showed in the beginning. Um, and it did help take off uh, all of the writing that was on here. All of it is gone. It did dull it a little bit, but like I said, this is trial and error. And when I was looking up doing kind of, um, like laminated furniture, things that are really glossy, you do wanna take the glossiness off. And from my understanding, it's to help the paint adhere, like to really stick to it. Um, I did go back to Home Depot though, and I decided to get another kind of sander. Um, I did see in someone else's project, they went back over it, and I am looking to get some of this off. So you take your sander, and we're gonna go in a circular motion as if you were just wiping off the table. So let's just see how this one works. This is 60. And um, so on the back, it does show a little chart, removes, smooths, and finishes. So yeah, let's, let's get started with the sander. All right guys, so just a couple of things. This is my first time sanding down a project and I know some people say it's optional um, for you to have to sand, but I definitely wanted to give this project a lot of effort. I could see the vision and I really wanted to do my, you know, best job on it. So I did decide to sand, but if you do, definitely wear your protective gear because I did rough up my fingers a bit. Um, a lot of dust does come off and maybe wear some goggles. So um, definitely take those steps when you decide to sand. But um, if you're new to doing something like this, I definitely say it's worth a shot because especially if it's something free or something old piece of furniture you're thinking about throwing it out, give it a shot by trying to refinish it, repaint it, and turn it into something new. All right, so I've got in, oh my gosh. I don't know how people wear these gloves. I mean gloves, these masks. So I have gotten it pretty decently sanded, I feel like, because it has that like, it has a rougher feel. It's not as smooth and shiny, so I feel like the paint will stick to it easier. Um, but I am gonna just wipe it clean until I'm actually ready to go to the next step. I use this um, to kind of smooth it out once I was done with the the rougher sander and now I'm just gonna wipe it clean with a little bit of um, I just use some water I mean I feel like that's that, that's doing well and then uh, I'll proceed to step two at a later time so it's gonna wipe it sanded it got a majority of the glossiness off of here I did end up going to the store to get some primer so this is the primer I decided to give a try and it says it works on multi surfaces um, so then I also did pick up a paint roller and I do have a paintbrush nothing specific or fancy so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to prime this whole thing so if you're new to refinishing an old piece of furniture, I did want to just let you guys know that priming your old piece of wood is definitely a really important step, especially if you're drastically changing the color of an old piece of wood. 
Um, priming it helps the paint stick and it improves the overall coverage. So you definitely want to prime it and let the primer completely dry before applying the paint to your old surface. Um, so as you see here, that's what I'm doing, but I know you're probably wondering, girl, why didn't you not take this thing apart? In the end, I end up taking it apart, but I basically thought I could get away by just priming it um, and not taking it apart. So definitely take your wood apart. But um, this is what it looks like after I've completely primed it. And I feel like it definitely turned out really well because it gave me almost like a really new surface to work with. So it's been about two days since I primed the desk or chair situation and it's actually looking good. It's completely dry, but I wanted to pop in before I went to the next step because I was really back and forth whether or not I wanted to actually paint it, get a can of paint, or if I wanted to do spray paint. And I've officially decided I'm going to do a candy pink spray paint. So uh, I really should have taken the desk apart prior to priming it, but I was, you know, trying to be... I don't know, I guess lazy, so to speak, and just prime it. It would have been much easier because obviously something like this that has so many like um, little different curves and pieces that the paintbrushes couldn't really fit in would have been much easier to do this during the priming stage. So make sure you take it apart, um, especially if you can. But this time around, I've already primed it, but I'm going to take it apart to spray paint it because I feel like it'd be much easier if I take it apart to spray paint it. So this is what it's looking like right now. And I feel like it's for the most part a decent solid. I mean, I could go over some of that area. I'm gonna um, sand some little pieces down, but for the most part, I think it's 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 looking fairly good. Um, so I'm gonna take out the screws like here, and I've already taken out one here. See, this just lifts up, and this is the screw. And then I'll just replace it. So I'm hoping this will be easier for spray painting purposes because to kind of just sit here and spray paint this whole thing. I feel like it might be a bit a bit much. So I'm, I am gonna take apart a couple of the pieces just to make spray painting much easier. So I just wanted to pop in and clue you guys in on the next step. But overall, I definitely think um, it's worth a shot. It's, it was something that somebody didn't want it. And what did, what did they say? Someone else's trash is someone else's treasure. So like I was saying, definitely um, take it apart. And that's probably like common sense, but again, you know, trial and error. So I've, almost gotten it all taken apart and as you can see this would have been primed much better but this is all the stuff you can't you're not even going to be able to see so i just thought it would be much easier for spray painting purposes to take it apart and this is what it's looking like so far thankfully all the screws are roughly the same so i won't have any issues putting it back together but definitely if you do maybe record yourself or have some help with someone who actually knows how to take things apart and put them back together but for the most part, they're all pretty much the same exact screws. So, um, yep, I'm gonna continue this process um, just to make sure that it's a smooth coat um, and not like a bumpy surface. Put a little bit of painter's tape on these screws. Not that I know if it really matters if they get too painted, but just to be on the safe side, I've applied a little bit of painter's tape on here so I can go ahead and spray paint. The spray paint I decided to use, it's a, Rustoline um, wood, metal, plastic, and more candy pink. So here you can see I'm just letting it dry in between coats because you don't want to spray paint too much at once. So I'd spray paint, let it dry for about 40 minutes and spray paint a second coat. We're in coat. like, I don't know, stage three or four. So step one, I went ahead and sanded down the original frozen print that was all over. Um, that was all over here. This is like the back piece of it. It was frozen. Um, the seat the desk piece sanded that off then after sanding it wiping it off getting all the dust and getting a smooth surface i went ahead and i primed it let it dry did like um a lighter coat over it then i used some spray paint and i picked a pink spray paint because i just didn't want to paint again okay maybe that was just me being lazy now the paint is completely dry and i'm really excited because here's the fun part i'm going to decorate the desk so um, everything is dried. It's been, I think it's been like two or three days 
since I've actually spray painted, I did spray paint and coat. So now I'm going to decorate it. Now I know which piece is what. So this is, oh, like I told you guys, this is the back. So this is where she's sitting. And then this part right here, I know from where it said Delta that this is how I have, cause I have to put it back together. So this is how it, it ends up being like this. I need to put it back together because I don't want to put it back together with my design all jacked up or facing the wrong way. Um, and same goes with all the other pieces. I got some re uh, removable, repositionable wall decor. See that they're LOL and they're so freaking cute. Oh my goodness. So um, I wasn't 100% sure what I wanted to decorate the chair with. But I'm not a freehand um, artist by any mean. I can't just paint with the paintbrush and design it. If my homegirl Angelique was here, shout out to Leek because you know you're a dope artist. Um, I'm going to leave her Instagram down below for you guys to check her out because she is bomb. Love you, love. Um, but she's a great freehand artist. She can do it like no other. Me, not so much. Need a little help. So, got these awesome little um wall art and this is my plan i got some mod podge here and what i'm thinking is because they're already sticky i'm going to add mod podge apply it to the back to um seal it on there even um hopefully even stronger then i'm going to mod podge over the whole entire area I just wanted to mention I'm using my Cricut Extra Large Scraper to help smooth out each of the stickers as I'm applying it just to make sure there's no air bubbles um, and that worked out really well. Now you will see me and hear me say later on in the video I did not apply Mod Podge to the back of them like I originally thought I was going to because um, they were sticking really well and I actually had to pick her up and place her somewhere else because I have to actually nail back a piece of wood where the where I'm pointing at right here and she would have basically have been covered so I decided to try to peel her up it worked really well so i was really happy i did not end up mod podging the back but i do end up mod podging the entire um chair just to seal it in and give it a nice good coat so what i've decided to do um and then i have another piece over here yeah so use the mods i want to be really fun really colorful i decided to try the mod podge out on just the corner of the star because i'm not i didn't Sorry guys, I ended up not Mod Podging to stick it on here because the reusable sticker is like, this is what, it's like a wall. So it was, it was really easy to reposition them like it says on the actual package when I wanted to move them somewhere else. Like she was up here, but I forgot I have to nail or um, put it back together with something here and I didn't want her up here being blocked so I position, positioned her back down here. So. I did test it out on the star, and I do think I'll go ahead and Mod Podge it. pieces have dried and might I say I am extremely happy of the final look of the lol design I decided to do so now we're gonna go ahead and piece it together pieces like this I did not bother to make look perfect because that's the bottom if the chair is gonna be sitting down or the desk is gonna be sitting on that piece so definitely really really happy with how they came out so now for the final touch is just to put it all back together all right guys and here is the final look of the chair if i do say so myself this is definitely one of my best pieces so far i absolutely love it it's so fun it's so colorful and it didn't cost me more than 30 dollars someone's trash was someone else's treasure taylor loves it it is definitely the most adorable chair um and i really hope you guys enjoyed this video so if you did please give your girl a big thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you're notified each and every time i post a video and i will catch you guys in my next video thanks again